Creating an image of your hard drive will create an exact copy of your hard drive copying corrupt as well as good data. Since hard drive damage only gets worse with use, the best thing you can do is to create an image of it and then use the image to recover your data. If you continue to try and recover the data from the hard drive, you could cause more corruption. Creating the image will not correct any data. It will copy good data as well as corrupted data. However, most likely, in my experience, only a small portion of your hard drive has been corrupted if there is actual corruption. Because of this, the majority of your data is most likely safe. But the best way to recover this data is to then open the image file later on in Windows and then from there you can copy out all of your files. So, the first step is to select the drive you wish to image. Most likely your data is on the drive on which Windows is installed. So, look for your Windows install. It should also be the largest drive. Be sure to note the size of the drive you wish to image, as you will need to have at least this much free space in the location you wish to save your image file. And then click OK. Next, you'll be prompted to insert a removable storage device. There has to be sufficient space on this device to copy your entire drive to it. For example, if you have a 250 gigabyte hard drive, you will need to have at least 250 gigabytes of free space on your removable storage device. Most likely, you will need a removable hard drive or a backup drive to do this. You should probably get one anyway to back up your data if you don't have one already. If not, borrow one from a friend. When you connect your storage device, most likely, a window will pop up showing its contents. Simply minimize the window and then click OK. As you can see, BootMed brought up a list of my removable storage devices. This is my external hard drive. When I connect it into Windows, it usually comes up with the label Elements. As you can see, it has 66 gigabytes of free space, which is sufficient since the drive I am going to image is only about 41 gigabytes. On this drive, a file will be created called driveimage.dd. This file, this image file, you will be able to open later on in Windows. Imaging a drive can take anywhere from an hour to two or three days to a week. You have to be very patient. The more damage there is to your drive, the longer it will take. Once you've selected where you'd like to save your image, click OK. BootMed will then open this window where you can see the progress. You don't need to worry about any of the information in this window. Simply take a break and a BootMed will alert you when imaging has finished. Okay, about one hour has passed and my 40 gigabyte hard drive has now been imaged. An image has been created on my external hard drive and it's been done successfully. So this file, driveimage.dd, is now on the external hard drive. Now that I've finished, I'll click OK. The best thing to do now is to quit and shut on your computer. Um, you can go to bootmedplus.com, follow the link you see on your screen, to find more information about how to open this file in Windows and then retrieve your data from your image file.